I'm Robin Higgins, and this is reactive versus non-reactive mercury. All right, so mercury is an element on the periodic table, and just like every other element, there are certain conditions under which it's going to react, and certain conditions where it's not gonna really do anything. So let's take a look at a bunch of different types of reaction conditions and see what mercury behaves like. So up here first, we have mercury, reacting with oxygen gas, or just the air, and it's also pretty hot. It's at 350 degrees Celsius. So under these conditions, mercury will react, and it actually just forms HGO, otherwise known as mercury oxide. So that's what happens if you take oxygen and react it with mercury at 350 degrees Celsius. But if you bring it down to room temperature, or about 25 degrees Celsius, you have the same things, mercury and oxygen, but this time you have no reaction. Little X there for reaction. Uh, so hot, it'll form mercury oxide, room temperature, it won't react. Now let's take a look at some other chemicals. What if you have mercury and a halogen like fluorine? Well, this is actually very reactive. And so you'll have Hg, F2 be your product, and this is called mercury fluoride. So remember, since there are two fluorines, it means that mercury has a charge of positive two. Now, mercury will actually react with all halogens like this. So mercury and chlorine is mercury chloride. Now what about mercury and an acid? Well, it actually depends on what type of acid you add. If you have mercury and hydrochloric acid, no reaction. Mercury doesn't really react with acids unless they're oxidizing, which means they have oxygens. So mercury and nitric acid, it actually forms mercury nitrate. So even though these are both strong acids, this one has no reaction and this does form a product. So this is just a few different ways that mercury reacts. There are lots more, but this is a good starting place. I'm Robin Higgins, and this is Reactive versus Non-Reactive Mercury. Mm -hmm.